don't think I've ever actually had a calculator that can do 30 trillion on it. It's a, uh, let me see, I'm going, uh, there we go. Um, Andrew Seathouse, Director of Transport, um, supporting the ISSR work uh, here. So we're that little arrow at the bottom on the nice jigsaw that we've been uh, seeing today. And what I'd like to touch on, um, from last year's presentation, I introduced the work that through the ISSR and the applied research we've done at the university had created and led to uh, a company on smart card ticketing, um, which is based in Portland Square. Building on the themes of Horizon 2020 and the challenge and what Chris was saying about the need to have seamless journeys and putting customers at the forefront, this was really what was at the heart of our research um, three or four years ago in looking at the public transport sector and smart card ticketing. The UK <laughs> government was very keen on promoting smart cards, but in a, um, a world where the market was fully deregulated, um, you could actually have, well, 69 different sets of bus ticket machine and configurations out there, um, over 12 different types of back offices, six different types of data input systems, and over 40 different types of smart cards. And actually to give the customer a simple proposition of, I want to travel on two buses with one ticket seamlessly ordering it online and it's going to go beep, is a little bit messy. And, and this is where we started the work of Swizzle, which is Southwest Smart Applications Limited. And we apply what's called ITSO, which is a national standard on interoperability, which has worked reasonably well, I think. Um, at the moment now, over the last year, the work in the university, we've now moved to Portland Square. The team has grown up to six people, and we're currently processing around two million transactions a week within the Southwest. We now provide support to 214 bus companies and over 16 councils, and there's just over 1.1 million smart cards out there uh, that we provide the support facilities for, both from the physical kit to the back office and the reconciliation of, of payments information. Um, as it happens, we've now um, had the figures through that there's about £105 million worth of transactions used the Swizzle uh, system last year. On the back of that initial work in the South West, the government asked us to lead on a national research and development pilot, um, which um, over the last year we've been building it in Norfolk with all the bus companies there, and it was launched um, about two weeks ago, and was about just over two, two and a half thousand cards already live in the first two weeks. And what's different about this is the starting point was purely and simply the customer. What does the customer want when it is supporting um, smart ticketing? So here we say customer focused, nine till six. What that means is going online on the hold all site, you can order your bus ticket anytime at nine o'clock at night. It is there available for you on bus to collect to go beep at six o'clock the next morning. When we started the discussions with the industry, the minimum that was acceptable to the industry was four days from ordering online for it being available on bus. And that was a non-starter from a customer point of view, and we got it down from to nine at night, six in the morning. And considering these buses are driving around all the time, physically getting it loaded to them um, is quite a challenge. So at the moment, that's our core activity, and we look to Horizon 2020 and the opportunities of taking what we're learning through this pilot and rolling out elsewhere in collaboration with um, other partners. I did want to quickly uh, also outline some of the other work that we have done um, over the last year in sustainable transport in the ISSR, in particularly a project in Nigeria, um, going back to basics on how basic rural transport planning can assist entrepreneurship and um, we focused on the role of uh, women's entrepreneurs uh, and that work is ongoing. On behalf of the university um, I attend the Southwest Peninsula Task Force um, which is looking with the councils and the local economic partnerships about what we can do for resilience in rail and also improving the number and the frequency of services and the quality of the rail offering um, to the far southwest. Uh, the lastly, 
A couple of quick uh, last slides. We're halfway through a KTP now, working with the Youth Parliament and Plymouth City Council on developing a seamless, customer-focused youth app for ticketing and transport um, in Plymouth. And it's going very well at the moment, and we're working in partnership um, with uh, Travel Line, who provide all the core movement data. And then very finally, um, we're very pleased actually, we've also started a very small, using ISSR seed corn funding, a program of youth contract support with Job Centre Plus about helping people back into full-time employment through mentoring and training in the sustainable transport sector. Thank you.